Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about the Power Walker UPS. And I actually got a new Power Walker UPS 2200R. Um, and the reason wasn't really that I needed it now, 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 now. So much that my power company have changed the metrics unit in order to measure how much power I use. And then when they came over here, they said, we will be there in an hour and just pull the plug on you. And that was no good. So <laughs> I had to scramble and get everything down in order for them to fix and fiddle with my electricity. And I have been thinking about create, getting a UPS because if we had a, a down out, uh, a brownout or anything like that, I wouldn't like the equipment to take any um, harm. So I needed a new web S anyway. So I wanted to buy one. I've been saving for one, but it is quite expensive to actually buy a UPS and especially this kind of UPS. And I didn't know what to get. I didn't know how much I actually needed. So uh, the power company called me again and said, well, we need to be at your place in an hour again to fix your electricity because we can't get uh, accurate reading. There is something wrong. And I said to them, no, 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 you don't show up now. Um, you, you need to at least wait a week so I can fix. And I, I, it was during the time I was actually sick with COVID. So I didn't want them to show up then. So I scrambled and bought a UPS. Uh, I had some savings, but I had to put in some extra money because of the actual delivery. Um, so a UPS in this case was about $300, which isn't that much money. But then you add an extra 200 or so in order to get it delivered to your place because it weighs a ton. <laughs> it's really heavy. Uh, so they had to take a lorry over here and actually uh, limp it off uh, in the parking lot here. So I had to pick it in. Uh, so that was a hassle. Uh, but I got it here. So let's look at the unboxing. Yeah, so I wanted an extension cord for nine extra, nine extra jacks in my, in my rack over there. And this box arrived. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna open it up and see if if it's there or if it's just something. Yeah, trying to one hand this it was a little bit hard with the scissors and so on. So let's check. Yeah. And we get another less distinct box here. I guess the other things are not required. And here we got it. Yeah. So an extension cord. Nine extra jacks for my rack. And the important part is this. So this is a C14, I believe. Usually when you have a computer, you put a C13 into a C14 jack on the back under your computer, and then you have an extension cord to your wall or something like that. But in this case, from a UPS, you get this kind of an output. So I needed that kind of an cable in my rack. So I'll just need to wait for the UPS to arrive and then I will assemble it and put it into my rack. Oh, I actually got the package today. So this should be the UPS. And I'm not really sure how it will turn out. It could be exactly the right size, the right amount of battery that I need, or it could be totally over specced or <laughs> not enough. Uh, first time I actually buy a UPS, use a UPS and so on. So I actually have no clue, but it's heavy. That is one thing that is clear. And we also can see here that we have a bunch of cables. So in the package, we got uh, one serial cable, com cable. We got one cable that goes from uh, C13 uh, to C14. We have one USB, USB A to USB B. 
and one power cable, normal for Swedish or yeah, most of the European countries. And this is a Blue Walker from, or it's from Blue Walker and it's a Power Walker station. Uh, I talked to one of my colleagues or my friends and he said that if you buy anything you should buy an Ethan. Um, I'm not really that into the different um, brands, I don't really know what, which one is good or bad. Uh, but Power Worker is a German company and yeah, build once works every time. So it should be good. Uh, we got some rail uh, attachment as well, so I should be able to attach it to my rail system here or my my rack. And then we have the actual unit. Oh, what a unit! So, very heavy. Very hard to get out of the box even. And I, I guess that the most of the weight to this unit is the batteries. So, if we just get all of the styrofoam out of here big box it should be just fine put that over there take care of that later so here we have the unit <coughs> Jesus this is heavy so I would say that this is at least uh, 20 kilograms I would even say 30 kilograms. So we see that we have four um, different uh, outputs here, which is C14 or C13. So the plug that I bought earlier works just fine there, which is really great. We have one in, one out network, I guess. Uh, slot for intelligent, whatever that is. Uh, we have one EPO, not sure what that is either. We have the USB connector up here and also the COM link up here. And we have a breaker here. If we, <laughs> if we hit the breaker and in the front we have a power button and a mute button if we need to... Uh, oh, it's actually turning on. It ha has already battery in it, I guess. So, can we turn it off again? Yeah, we could. So the power works. We have already battery in it. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if it's an easy thing to get at the batteries. There is something that you can pull here. Not sure if it actually is openable without any tools or if you need need to remove some screws perhaps or something like that don't see any clips or anything like that uh, but I don't need to do a power maintenance at the moment so this unit should be about um, 2200 2, volts uh, 1300 watts um, if it's optimal uh, at least it that's what they are uh, calculating this against so three uh, 13, uh, 1320 volts uh, 200 2200 uh, volt ampere uh, or yeah volt ampere and uh, three <laughs> 1320 watts so yeah, I don't know. I need to install this into my rack. Put and then I have this uh, cable tray of, up, up there. So I need to gradually move components over to this new unit. So it, it actually runs on this unit and uh, plugging that that unit into the wall as well. So there is a bunch of work that actually needs to go into uh, changing this up. But I wanted to show the unit off. Uh, before I actually install it and talk a little bit about what actually comes in the box. So some kind of unboxing. 
and you don't need to <laughs> watch me struggle with uh, actually putting it into the rack. So I can continue talking about this when I have put it into the rack and when I have put some load on it and we can talk about what it actually can handle. That's really exciting for me. Now that I have it installed in my rack behind me here and I also have all the things set up and I have gone through and looked at the interface, I realized that there were some things that I actually learned during this process. So let's switch over to my screen here and you see that I run the Power Master, the local installation. And they had a couple of different things that you could install. You could install a management interface, you could install a remote interface, you could install a local interface and so on. And I thought that I wanted a remote interface because I wanted the web GUI in order to see things. But they, the, the documentation wasn't really that great on their webpage. So I didn't really figure it out. I tried a bunch of different things and I realized that the thing I wanted was the local one. And the local one is the one that is running on one host and can be attached to your UPS. And in my case, I used the um, USB cable that came with the UPS in order to connect them. Uh, you could have used a COM cable or you could have used uh, uh, the interface on the UPS uh, for network connectivity so the actual local software could be running on the UPS. The problem there is that I think you need this extra module that you need to buy and put into the UPS and that is not really necessary for me. I can just put it into another computer. Uh, so this is the interface, the local interface. The remote interface is something you install on all of your other machines in order to tell the machines to shut down if you have an outage. So in the case that the power goes out, you can say to the UPS, check your power levels and when you reach this specific levels, talk to all the other machines and tell them to turn down. So if you look at the uh, uh, connected equipment here, you can see that I can have up to eight different things connected here. I just have one machine at the moment uh, and currently the shutdown uh, protected is true. So this is the way you set up more equipment and then tell it to shut down. If we look at my dashboard here, you can see that I have 230 in and 230 out from my outlets. We have a frequency of about 50 Hertz and I have a load of 6%. And that is not much. I actually thought that this UPS might be a little too small, but it's 1320 watts and I run five different mini uh, PCs plus three or four, or even five, up to five different uh, Raspberry Pis. So I thought it was a bit, uh, but I realized here that I could put a lot more into this system. I could probably put in two or three servers in the rack as well. So expansion is possible. So that's good. And if we look at reporting here, energy use, uh, you could actually set up uh, how much you it's cost per kilo, uh, kilowatt hour and how much uh, um, emittance is going out in the atmosphere, uh, kilograms. So I'm using wind power here. So the uh, amount of uh, CO2 going out to the atmosphere is pretty low, I think. Um, so uh, when, it, when you look at the uh, charts here, you also need to uh, add the cost. In my case, it's half a Swedish crown. Uh, so that would be like 0 0.05 dollars or something like that. A uh, dollar is pretty much 10 Swedish crowns, give or take, depending on the rates. And uh, I use about one kilowatt uh, per day, so uh, kilowatt hour per day, and they, that's not that much. So it's pretty nice. <laughs> the, it, the rack is not running that heavy and it doesn't really take up that much electricity. 
Um, the dashboard has some diagnostics. You can test the system. You could configure a bunch of things. And um, yeah, you can check the connected uh, equipment, schedule down, uh, shutdown, and be wise with your uh, electricity. Um, yeah, so there is a bunch of settings you can do here. I haven't really looked into all the settings. One thing that I didn't figure out right away and it took me a while to actually figure out with this unit was how to get it up and running. I plugged in the cables and I tried to run things. I connected just a grinder to it to see that it actually was running and I couldn't get it to run. So I connected the grinder directly to power and yeah, it worked, but, and the rails and everything worked. And I couldn't really figure out what, what was the problem here. And the uh, UPS seems to have a couple of different modes. So if you just power it on, it will tell you that it's charging the battery and it doesn't have any output. And if you p uh, press the power button a couple of times, it goes into the mode where it actually sends power through. And I also tried to pull the plug at that point and it will switch over to use the batteries. So I guess there is three or four different modes where you can change the mode by pressing the power button in order to get it into a different state. So that was a little bit of a tricky point in order to figure out what is <laughs> what mode do I need to be in in order to get it to run? But now that it is in the running mode, it works just fine, um, and I haven't had any problems with it so far. The uh, energy company hasn't been here yet, but when they get here, I will just pull the plug from the wall, and hopefully everything will just work. So um, I'm pretty happy with this setup, and uh, I'm I'm really happy that I have a little bit more security at home and I don't uh, have the problem of just everything turning off and I lose data if the uh, power goes out. So uh, this was what I wanted to show you today. I hope that you found this interesting. Maybe you can draw some conclusions if you are figuring that you need a UPS for your home either to connect your PC or your home set up um, you might have some more information now maybe you consider to uh, buy a power uh, walker or maybe you uh, buy another unit um, this is the most cost efficient uh, unit to buy in sweden and having it delivered from germany is not that costly either uh, i hope that you like this video give it a like share it with your friends and colleagues if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next one.